Hi everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 9th, 2016. The moon is in Libra and it's opposing Uranus today and Queen Kong in Chiron. And what does that say? Well, it says that we could feel like the whole emotional process is a bit erratic. That we can feel like there's nothing stable there. We can be up one moment and down the next and we could actually be confronted with subjects that are painful for us in our lives or are painful for people who we care about in our lives, making us face the issues and, and, and go over them again, process them again, both emotionally and mentally. And there's a great need to take it from the emotional plane to the cerebral plane and rethink about things and even provide solutions using our higher mind. Other than that, from around uh, 1945 Central European time, that 1345 Eastern Standard Time, the moon, be the moon becomes void, of course, until 6.45 a.m. The, the next morning. That's uh, a quarter to 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when it goes into Scorpio. This is not a good night for first dates or any new beginnings. Mercury is still on the North Node. This is an important time for us to schedule, to navigate, to chart our life ahead, to um, really think about the next goals that we want to complete and to start building the steps up that mountain. Many times we can harness our, our imagination and see great big things that we want to manifest on the plane of reality, but they look too fantastic. This is the time to really be practical, to take off those rose-tinted glasses and to start seeing the steps going up that mountain. If it's this great big thing, the big project that I want to do, what's the first action I really need to do today to make it happen? It could be just a phone call, it could be sending an email, small things, baby steps, one at a time. And when I'm talking about being realistic, when you're charting your life. It's about being realistic with people who are involved in your life and in these projects as well, and not being too naive about who these people are and what their motives are, but seeing things as they are and not leaving them to chance. If there's any contracts that need to be signed, sign them now before Mercury goes into retrograde at the end of the month. Don't be naive at this time and don't sit uh, sipping your margaritas by the poolside, chart your life, place goals, and go for it. Just be practical about it. We've been a bit um, confrontational with our relationships, and we had a shorter fuse with the square to Mars. Well, that's going away, and now Venus is trining Ceres, sextiling Juno. That's a great time for relationships. That's a, a great time for long-term relationships, especially, and it's a great time for pampering, for uh, caregiving, for uh, TLC, and we could really bridge those gaps that were opened at the last few weeks and be tender and loving again. And that's great. So, thank you for listening, and I hope you're going to have a beautiful week ahead. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.